welcome. My name is Cassie. I am a homeschool mom of eight kids. My husband is right in there. And uh, we talk a lot about ministry, missions, homeschooling, um, healthy eating. We have food allergies, politics, um, all sorts of stuff. Here's Evelyn. Um, and today we bought, well, we didn't buy it today, but we bought a bus that was converted into an RV. We travel a lot too, if I can get the whole bus in the image here. So come on and join me right after this. So I am going to give you a tour of the bus. So I'll have Mr. Babe tour the outside because that's stuff I don't care about. So he'll show you all the outside stuff. Excuse me, boys. Here's the inside of our bus. Um, I'll have to shoot a second video on the story of how we got this bus because it is amazing. But uh, here we go. So here is our kitchen and our living room so this is my seat where i get to sit and snuggle and read this couch pulls down into a full-size bed um this is my table that i'm actually going to take out and spray paint white that's why i bought spray paint mr babe doesn't know yet here is our dining room and these seats have storage thank you buddy you can close that so that's real nice we also have additional seating here, which I really love because the we keep activities in here. Do you want to open those so we can see what's in there? So I bought a bunch of library books for our trip about all the different things that we will be seeing. We have magnets, we have Mad Libs. They got a bunch of different things they can pull out, sit here and enjoy the scenic view of the Rocky Mountains and the West Plains as we, as we drive. Show me what's in the other one. board games, their school composition books, notebooking stuff so they can notebook about stuff that they find interesting. Okay, Dookie, show me what's in this cupboard. Boop. Here we have our GameCube. We're going to put a DVD player and um, DVDs. We got extra rope lights and stuff we're going to hang. And this TV that came with it. Let's move this way. Here is our sink. Now this sink does not actually have running water. Um, none of Nothing in our bus does right now, but we will have a gallon of water that we can use. Open those up. Down here is paper stuff for cooking and eating. Open this one. There's where our sink drains and some cleaning supplies. Here is our little stove. And in our stove, I will store our cooking stuff. Hey guys. Okay, close that. We have a fridge. Oh, we have a microwave. We have a freezer and a fridge. Do you want to open that pantry, buddy? And then we got lots of allergy. Well, not everything is specifically for everybody, but most of it is. I got a lot of sweet food. I got like these organic chili beans that are already packaged so we can do chili dogs and stuff. And then in here we have trail mix, gluten-free, dairy-free, everything-free granola, coffee, what's back there, raisins, some more stuff for the road, tons of pickles and salsas and tuna and peanut butter packets and all sorts of stuff. So now let's go through here. So in here is six bunk beds. So we have a Hava, Eli, Duke, Evelyn and Willow, and they each have like a bin of toys and stuff. Here's Haven, and here's Alicia. Grace, she's ready to go. So then back here is the master bedroom with our queen-sized bed and a makeshift closet. We're still packing, so do you want to go open the bathroom door? Oh. And then here is our porta potty, a sink, no running water again. 
We do have a drain in the floor, so if our campsites do not have a shower, I actually bought one of those camp shower bags that hang, um, and it can drain here through the floor. So that is the inside of our bus. I will have Mr. Babe give you a tour of the outside if he's up for that. So let's go. Hey, Alex, can you give us a tour of the outside of the bus? Can you give us a tour of the outside of the bus and sure. the features that it has? All right, so the future, the feature that it had, this comes with a one horsepower generator. That is very cool. I like it. See, my wife focus on the interior stuff. <laughs> I am more of a technical and the functionality. To this morning, we just had a discussion about how men and, and women think, and both of us have completely different focus right. when it comes to trip, which balance its itself out because I I do not see things the way how she does. And bless her because she makes it run so smoothly for us. So that's one of the benefits of being married. And you have a wife like that. So right here, this is where all of my technical stuff are, like the oil, the gas, and just all of that stuff is right here for me, so in case, in case this ever needs uh, needs it. The generator goes it. in there, the I think. The generator will eventually go in here also. And, uh, and we're still packing, we're so. We're still packing, so. So this bus comes with six. Well, three, I think they're connected. They're all connected, but yeah. it's three, but it's huge. I mean, it's long. So it comes with three of them. And this compartment, we have all of the uh, kids' bikes and we have some of the uh, storage uh, food stuff and toiletry stuff that we will need for our yeah, two extra weeks trip. snacks, extra, extra snacks paper and all that stuff. stuff. Watch your fingers, Duke. Our and tables, then, our Coleman's are in there. Yep. Our grill will probably go in there. The grill will, prob yep, grill will go in there. And then in this compartment, uh, this is where the inverter is. So this is what's gonna power up, um, uh, power up the uh, bus and give us some power and electricity when we are not moving. Right. So when we are no, when we are moving. When I we thought. are not also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Either way. Either way. Because you'll hook the generator the right up to that, right? Uh, no. You hook oh. the cord directly into the generator and oh, that's okay. how we get power okay so when we are spending the night over at walmart parking lot right we will need the generator, generator because i don't want to drain the battery so but if we're hooked we'll up do. at the campsite, campsite or running off the bus battery yep then the inverter the inverter will yep cool yep we'll bring all well, our balls we have extra tarps well and... technically no uh when oh when we are at the campsite, we hook up directly to, to the campsite. Right. This is for when we are stationed and not moving like, 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 like Walmart parking lot. I choose to not use this because I do not want to. But when the we're battery. driving, we use that. Yes. But the car is running, so it so it isn't going to drain. That's right. So we're we're lying on the inverter while we're driving. Yep. The generator when we're stationary. Yep. So and the RV plug-ins when we're at there. We go. Spot. See, that's why I married her. <laughs> so she always knows how to uh, put my words into words that <laughs> make sense. So this is the master switch. So this so this turns on everything. Uh, it turns on everything and we usually shut it off after we turn off the vehicle also um and then here is my favorite part what about this isn't this all the toilet stuff yeah if you want me to go on uh just a quick walk through so this is where our septic uh our septic connector i'm still trying to figure out how to open up the back which is watch out are you i gotta ask him how in the world so this is still new for us. Oh, okay. We just got it Wednesday. Okay, hold on. I think it's just stuck. Yeah. Well, I don't want to break it. Oh. Yeah, I guess you just got to just leave it alone. <laughs> All right. So this is our septic connector right here. 
And so the toilet's a two tank. Two tank so yep. here's a bottom tank and a top that, tank. The top tank. So we basically use the toilet and when it smells too much, he pulls Pull this, this latch, lever right here, latch and it and goes it down into the bottom goes tank. Down the bottom and then we can keep And it. then we refill this with a little bit of water and cleaner. Yep. And, and then, then here is the connector piece for it. It's at the bottom. So when we want to drain it, we just hook up to it and uh it's right here. Push so when it we want the RV thing. Yep. So when we want to drain it, we just connect it and let it float downhill. Yep. So and then this is the air compressor. So this is a so this is an air air brake system. So this is what gives us our uh, brakes and all that stuff. So we usually have to let it uh, build up pressure for about 15, 20 minutes. And then, uh, actually less than that, like yeah, 10 like... minutes. About 10 minutes, so it's pretty good. It literally, and all of these are newer terms for me, so I'm starting to figure it all out. And for some of you who are thinking that this is just too much, it's not. You just have to have a drive and a willingness to learn. So this is our, now this is the engine right here. Uh, this whole piece is the, is the engine. We have the, the oil, and this is where you, you will put the oil into it right here. Uh, and then you have your training right here, your, your uh, transmission, which is red. That means it's pretty good. And these are your belts. This one looks like it needs to be replaced. Um, hopefully not on our trip <laughs> after we come back. Yeah, so uh, this is it for me, man. Like this is my beauty right here. I love just sitting here looking at this stuff and trying to figure out what in the world it is. So, all right. So then the other side also has the three, yeah, the three places where you can get into yeah, the so storage. It's the same. I mean, this is really, just some fins. Yep. Yep. This radiator fins. So that's it. That's pretty much it. That's the bus. So we're it's new. So we're gonna eventually paint and gut and change the yep. ceiling and the cupboards oh, and we're gonna, yeah, make we're it gonna our own over the years here. So definitely want to do that. And as storage for us, we have a, a friend that we store it at his house. So so that's how it. it it worked for us. So. so he's gonna make sure the generator is working and I'm gonna keep packing clothes and food and we're leaving tomorrow. All right. So that's it. That's it.